first notation rule that you need to learn for set notation is that A means everything is contained only in A. So looking at the Venn diagram here, you can see that this circle is the set A. So anything that falls within this circle, including the bit where it overlaps with B, is the set A. Similarly, if you are asked to find the set B, that would be everything that is contained within the other circle. So everything that is contained here, including the bit that overlaps. So this, the bit in red, would be the set A, and then set B would be the bit in green. If you ever see something like N of A, what this means is the number of elements within the set A. So, for example, if I define the set A to be the numbers 1, 2, 3, and 4, well, um, N of A, the number of elements within A, is 4, because we have four numbers within the set. Similarly, if I had maybe the set 1, 3, 2, that's three numbers in total, N of A would be three, and so on. A dash means everything that is not in A. The easy way to see this is if we decide that our set space is the numbers between 1 and 10, and we decide that A is the numbers 1, 2, and 3, then A dash would be all the numbers between 1 and 10, except 1, 2, and 3. So in this case, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10. Okay, because this still, if we put these two sets together, def defines our whole set space. So how can we see this on the Venn diagram? It is everything that isn't contained within the circle A. So it's the rest of B, except the bit that overlaps A, because of course anything in that middle bit is in A and in B, and we don't want anything that is in A. And then everything around the outside here, because this is, of course, not in A or in B. Like that. So A dash means everything that is not in A. This piece of notation means A intersect B. So it contains all of the numbers that are in A and in B. So what I mean by that is if A was the set 4, 5, 6, and B was the set 1, two, three, six. Then A intersect B, A sort of cap B like a little N in the middle, would be the numbers that are in both. So six and six is the only number that appears in both of them. So A intersect B would just be the set containing the number six. Representing this on the Venn diagram is really easy. It's just where the two circles overlap, this bit in the middle. This piece of notation reads as A union B. This is basically taking both sets, A and B, and putting them together. So for example, if A was the set one, two, three, and B was the set four, five, six, A union B would put both of these together. So A and then union looks like a U. B is the set one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, so how would we represent this on the Venn diagram? Well, it's just everything that is contained in both of the circles. Like this. So A and then a U in the middle, B, means A union B. You just put the two sets together. This piece of notation looks a little bit confusing, but what it means is A without B. Okay, so for example, if A was the set... 1, 2, 3, and B was the set 1, 2, 4, 5, then A intersect B dash would be everything that is in A take away anything that we find in B. So what I mean by that is notice how these two sets sort of overlap. 1 and 2 are in A and B. So a intersect B dash would be just the number 3 because we get rid of the 1 and 2 because they were in B, so of course they are not in B dash. How do we represent this on the Venn diagram? Well, it's just this section here, not including the bit where it overlaps with B. If you found this video useful, why not try the topic exam on our learning platform? Here you can assess your knowledge and get instant feedback on how you should have solved the problems both in written format and 
in video solution format so you can have someone talk you through exactly what you should have done. Okay, A with a dash means not in A. So The course is all inclusive. What I mean by that is it includes every single topic on the GCSE course. So everything is covered with a revision section, a practice test and a topic exam.